Drake State University is working to create the first 3D printed structure in Alabama. It's all part of a bigger project that could be used on future Artemis missions on the moon. Really cool stuff. Way 31's Alex Torres Perez gives us a look at the work being done right here in the Rocket City. Not only are we going back to the moon, but we're going to live there. And for that to happen, you need infrastructure. So NASA hopes to use 3D printing technology to make it possible. It's definitely going to make an imprint, a huge imprint. Students at Drake State University are ecstatic to possibly build the future Artemis base camp. I cannot really think about I'm a part of this until I'm actually here and I'm like, okay, we're getting data and retrieving data that maybe we could possibly live on the moon. But you can't really send construction materials to the moon. It's prohibitively expensive. You want to be able to essentially live off the land on the surface of the moon. And that's why this robot was created, to print 3D structures out of materials found on the moon. They will do everything from print their habitat to their infrastructure, like their launch pads, um, potentially like their roads, drainage systems, you know, everything like that. Sensors are placed inside the model structure to collect data and see how well it would survive on the surface of the moon. The lunar surface has much greater temperature extremes and temperature gradients, so the ability to place sensors in a structure that we build on the moon and sort of monitor how it's surviving in that lunar environment would be a great advantage for us. And students at Drake State are at the forefront of this new technology. It's great, it's great. I mean, to be able to do something that, you know, not very many other people can say that they've ever done or anything, there's a huge passion involved with this. They used to say the sky's the limit. It may be further than that now. NASA hopes to send the equipment to start building that lunar base sometime in 2027. Reporting in Huntsville, Alex Torres Perez, Way 31 News. Very cool. Thanks, Alex. The technology is also expected to revolutionize construction here on Earth in the future.